Oh, Corbin. What? Hold on. Okay. Go. Corbin. Ah! What did you do? Wow. Things are falling apart. Uh, what goes in hard and dry? Yes, always. And comes out soft and wet? Hmm. Well, I'm always hard, so it's not me. What? Chewing gum, you perv. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us Instagram. Instagram, Instagram it's a Juicy Content. Ah! I love Juicy Content. Peaking. Uh, today we got a Sid Charam video. Cool. He's actually singing a cappella in his oh, room. Sweet. Uh, a cappella in my room. <laughs> Literally yeah, looks yeah, like I it's like know. in his room. So he has no like special stuff. But the song is called Apara Ali. Uh, it's, it's a Marathi song from the film Natarang. Um, that's the one that we wanted to see, but the songs aren't subbed. Ah! Uh, I think we've actually reacted, maybe we've reacted, maybe to, this we reacted song. to this uh, song. But anyways, uh, I don't know if Sid Trom sang that song, but he sings this one, and he sings acapella. He's one of, he has an amazing voice. Yes. So it'd be, I'm sure his acapella voice is just going to be ridiculous. Um,
telling me is you don't need any auto tune. Do me a favor, <laughs> play it from the very beginning again. Okay. Just real quick. Uh, son of a uh, gun. That's all I needed to hear. What? Uh, what? Son of a gun. What do you? What do you? What do you? What? what? He ended in the exact same note and pitch he started. I was. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I, how, what is I the, can't even begin to express how difficult that is. What, what is the biggest difference singing a cappella, especially in a room? It looks like his bedroom. Well, you've got a couple things going on when you're singing a cappella. First of all, the space you're in. That doesn't it's, look like a space made yeah, for, for audio. It is not made for audio. And even if you have a good mic, it's going to be very different because you're not being mic'd for vocal there. And... He, it's what that sound quality is in that room that way is what would be considered very dry technically mm -hmm. there's no reverb yeah uh, if anything if i was doing a vocal i would want to if i could try to add some reverb to it or sing it in the bathroom that's why people like singing in the bathroom because there's some reverb mm -hmm. that happens some space some carry with your with it, the uh, the other thing that it does when it's that dry is it not only is not complementary to the sound of your voice but it also hyper sensitizes the listener to the flaws mm -hmm. in your voice. You yep. can't hide behind anything. Yeah, forget auto-tune. <laughs> but that, okay, a lot of people have a hard time. This is one of the most difficult things about singing a cappella alone. Not just, if you're singing a cappella with a group, they help you stay in pitch, yeah. in tune. Yeah. But when you're alone, you have to, I'm sure he has perfect pitch. Perfect pitch would mean you could tell him, sing me a B flat. And he'd sing it, and you'd go to the piano and hit a B flat, and you, Charlie Puth can do that. Mm. You, just, you say any note to Charlie Puth, and he'll sing it, and it's the exact note. It's called perfect pitch. Some people start singing the national anthem mm -hmm. here, right? They'll start singing, Oh, say, can you see? A cappella. And then when they get to the end, it's not. Ba, 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 ba. They've changed it just a smidgen. Because it's really hard to stay on pitch. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest challenge of singing a cappella. Oh, okay. He did everything he did, made a key change, and came back, ended at what is called the tonic, basically, the main note that he was at at the beginning. That's mm -hmm. why I said, I know he did it. I want to hear it. Play it back from the beginning. Crazy gifting yeah. and, well, and skill. He's a, always been one of my favorite singers that we've heard but the fact that he sounds the exact same <laughs> yeah my bet is in like producing and mixing they love him because they don't have to do anything no like <laughs> you know what he, he sounds exactly like i've heard him in a thousand songs that we've reacted to <laughs> you don't have to do anything to that voice no i bet indian singers do not have the same problem a bunch of american singers do like sometimes like they're not good live right they because they been training their entire life correct live without <laughs> which is the that is the test yeah. for a for a singer mm -hmm. is anybody that i've ever seen live and there are some people i saw that disappointed me and there's some people i've seen that blew me away because hearing them live is that's the kicker yeah uh so uh, like you know I remember when I went to see Celine Dion for the first time yeah. ever live I had my arms crossed I was like okay I don't care that you sounded good on a recording you could take a tone deaf person and auto pitch them and you know auto tune them and they'll be fine she was a freak of nature which yeah. isn't a, isn't a surprise uh Ugh, yeah absolutely. that's that's just <laughs> gifting mind, and skill mind boggling Un unbelievable he has an amazing voice uh listen to more Sid Sharam songs uh down below Juice!